Hey guys, welcome back to the React Native course. In this video, we are going to talk about how to make simple API call in React Native. So basically, what we're gonna do, we're gonna make a function and we're gonna call the API using the fetch method, and we're gonna store the data in a state and we will display that data. Okay, now let's understand what is API. So API is a way to talk with the database. So basically, what is let's suppose you have a one database. So let's understand this. Uh, whatever data we store, we store in a database. And to interact with database, we gonna have a API. An API returns that some data. Okay, uh, it does make sense. I think yeah, I think it makes sense. So like you know, we have a API for weather, and that will return the data for weather related so basically api whenever we make an api call it will return some data okay now so let's see how we can make api call in react native so you can see this this is the last tutorial where we have talked about how to implement the drawer navigation now let me remove the whole code quickly and i have to write react native fes so you know if someone asks you ask you what is api api is a way api is stand for application program interface uh, which return a data uh, somewhere like basically api is a way to interact uh, to interact with the database okay let's suppose you know what is database if someone asks you so database is a, is a place where we store all the data of your application okay and how we get the data uh, from the database we get the data fr from the database using the api okay so api is like you know consists of some data it will store some data okay now let's understand that uh, let's suppose how we can make api call so let me show you one example of api quickly so there is one api called json placeholder api so you have to just type json placeholder api okay it will open this website so you can see uh, uh, this uh, json placeholder free fake rest api okay now you have to click on this you can see this is scrolled down so this is the code uh, which we can try it out and let me scroll down okay now if we click on uh, slash post and you can see that this is returning some kind of data okay so okay so some 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 dummy data and if i do slash post slash one so it will return a uh that data which uh, which matches with this which match with this post id and if i type five it will return the the fifth id post okay so let's see how we can interact with the like how to make api call in react native so let's suppose i want to make api call of this whenever the application load the first time okay let's uh, uh create a function called fetch data okay and let me make a function called async function okay and what is asynchronous asynchronous means like basically which is gonna took some time that is called asynchronous and to make the api call we're gonna use the async and we're gonna use like this response await and i'm going to use fetch method fetch method took the uh you know url like whatever you want to fetch okay so this is the example of fetch which, which you can see it here already so first is like you know uh, uh having a url okay let me do it like this so await and it we have defined the path this is the path this is the api and face that data okay now once we get the data we have to convert it into the uh, json format okay response dot json and if i console the data console dot log data okay and let me add a one button okay and when we click on this button it will make a api call make api call okay and add a on press event so on the on press of button we will calling this api okay and let me add a console here okay let's do like this let me add a one loader const is loading set is loading set is loading and by default use state we're gonna use use state to maintain the loading state and i'm going to define it as a false okay and whenever we make api call okay 
whenever we make API call we're gonna make as a true okay and once we get the response we're gonna make it false okay now here what we're gonna do basically here we're gonna have a one state if his loading is true then we're gonna uh, show activity indicator activity indicator okay and if it's false then we are going to show nothing and let's let's suppose if the use loading is true then how it's gonna looking look like so let's see that quickly so you can see that like if it's loading is true then it's gonna look like this so let me increase the size as well so size will be 500 oh that's too big okay let's do like 100 okay so you can see that the height the size is 100 and we're gonna have we have a one activity indicator which is showing on the ui okay now let me make it false for now so let's understand the code what is happening we have a one button make api call whenever we click on this button so we are calling a function called fetch data okay whenever we are calling this function so what we are doing first we are updating this state is loading as a true and after that we are fetching this api okay how we get the api we get the api from json placeholder api okay and we have defined a slash post slash five so it will return the fifth post data okay once we get the response that response in a string format so we convert that string into the json format okay and once we get once we convert into json format we are consoling that data and after that we are making is loading is a false awesome now let's uh, click on this button so you can see that is loading is true and we are getting the data and it's unreadable format for now okay now let's see what mistake am i doing okay so i'm consoling this data response or json and response so i'm getting the response of it like this and i'm called doing response or json and i'm consoling the response dot json and it's returning the data as a weird manner like jhk and that is not expected okay let's me use this api instead of using that api so i'm just copy this uh, code quickly so we can use it this code also so i'm just copy this code and let's replace it there so basically what is happening in this code let me explain you first we are fetching the api this api then we are getting the response we are converting this response into json format and that json we're gonna consoling if i again click on make api call we are getting the data okay now let me remove this code quickly uh okay we had removed this code and after just you know try with this url i was maybe uh, my api is not working in a proper manner so i'm just copy this url okay i just copy this and let's put this let's paste it here so you can see that await fetch we are getting the response response we are converting this response in the json format and we are consuming that data okay now if i can make api call and it's getting you know in a some hk format so basically the mistake which i was doing in this api i was not awaiting for this response to convert in the json format okay and that was a mistake which i was doing if i click on make api call so you can see this we are getting the body and the title and the id okay so once we get that all the data we're going to store that data you know data state and set data and we're gonna set as a use state as a null okay and once we get the data we should set this data into uh, that state set data as a this data okay now if we get the data basically if we get the data what we're gonna do we're gonna have a view inside the view uh, i'm gonna have a one text and what i'm going to show so basically uh, data dot title and what else we are getting in this okay let's me see what else we are getting we are getting body as well so let me you know render that as well data dot body 
okay and if if data is not there then i'm rendering as a null okay now if i reload this app and if i click on make api call so you can see this uh, this is the title uh, t i t l e okay and this is the body which we are getting which we get from the api okay so of awesomeness so this is how we make api call let's understand the code again we are having a fetch inside the fetch we are passing passing the api and after that we are converting that in the json format uh, last time we are making mistake like we are not awaiting while it's converting into json format and we are setting that data to the set state and we are making the is loading is a false now we are making api call on the button click now what we want to achieve basically whenever the user open this screen or whenever the app open so at that point of time we want to make api call automatically so how we can do that we have to use the use effect hook and whenever the component get mount or whenever the component get render on the ui we have to call this function and to call this what we have to do so basically in the use effect uh in the use effect uh whenever the component get mount or whenever the component get render first time so use effect will execute and we have pass a dependency array okay so what is going to happen it will uh, call this function whenever the component get mount on the ui and it will uh, set the data okay so if i again reload the app okay let me open the uh, terminal and let me remove this button i'm not using this button quick right now now if i reload the app you can see that automatically the this is function is calling because use effect hook so use effect hook when this call whenever the component get mount for, mount on the ui the use effect will execute okay and we uh, when if we have passed a dependency array it will only execute to the first time when the component get render okay so yeah this is how we make api call in react native i think that's all in this video and yeah in the next video we are going to talk about list with uh, api data using map basically we are going to make a api call to the get all items and we're going to show the data we're going to map the data using the map function so yeah i think that's all in this video see you guys in the next video thank you bye